Well, again, uh, I think I said this first press conference, I'm just so thankful to get this season off going. Uh, you know, we all know what we've been through and, um, and to have this opportunity to come up and play in this tournament. Uh, like I said, Lee's group's done an unbelievable job getting this thing off. You know, our tournament is off running and it seems like it, well, all four games are going to be played today. And, and besides that, you know, uh, we had an opportunity right off the bat to play one of the better teams in the country in northern Iowa. You know, everybody who understands basketball across the country, uh, you know how good they are. And they did what they do best today. I'm not for sure they'll lose another game rest of the season when they make 23 pointers. Uh, they were 20, I think, for 51 or 20. May 23s shot 51 percent. Um, but our guys found ways. We separated the game different times. They'd make runs at us. I thought the second half we did a much better job getting the ball, getting the ball um, around the paint on a pass or dribble, and one at the free throw line. You know, it's always critical when you get the free throw line. We shoot 28 of them the second half. That's a big stat. Uh, we did just enough to make enough plays against a really, really good Northern Iowa team that played exceptionally well today, too. Thank you, Coach. Joining Coach Stansbury, Stansbury is number 11, Tavion Hollingsworth, and number 20, Davion McKnight. We'll start upstairs uh, in the Pentagon film room. Hey, Coach, Jared McDonald with the Daily News here. Can you hear me? Hey, Coach, this is Jared McDonald with the Daily News. Can you hear me? He's muted down there. Yes. Okay, Jared, yep. Okay. Um, you know, uh, started off a little cold from the field. Uh, the bench comes in, and they have 42 points in the game. You know, what can you say about those guys off the bench? We know you talked about the depth heading into this year. Well, you know, Jared, I, I've always say, said this. It's not the first five that run out there to win the game for you. You know, everybody wants to go out there first. And I don't always start your best team or your best players sometimes. You know, I'm going to start uh, players for different re reasons, chem chemistry and, and rhythm-wise. But the key to any successful team are, is six, seven, eight, and nine off the bench. And our six, seven, eight, and nine off the bench today was really good. You know, it's been a while since we ha we've had an opportunity to have some – bench depth. And I'm not talking about guys coming off the bench. I'm talking about guys coming off the bench that can add to and really, really help you win. Uh, and, you know, playing in a three-day tournament, uh, you got to have some depth. And especially, you know, this time of the year, I don't think any team's going to be as sharp as, as any of us want to be. Uh, you know, one of our main objectives was just to get here virus-free and get here, you know, without any injuries. And when you do that, you don't practice quite the same. You know, you don't go quite as hard physically to avoid those injuries. And I thought that probably showed the first time. And, again, Charles hadn't been on the court for, you know, a year and a half. And, you know, I thought some of us got tired. But, again, uh, the bench was tremendous for us. And, you know, this guy sitting, sitting beside me here was one of those guys off that bench was huge for us. McDonald with the Daily News again. Uh, I know you just mentioned Davion slightly, but him and Luke Frampton have really good Hilltopper debuts. What can you just say about their first game here with Western Kentucky? You know, you know what both of them did is kind of what, what we think they're all capable of doing. You know, Davion's got great ability to get that ball to the rim and finish. Um, I think he's a really good defender and uh, can pass the ball. And what he did, you know, we see every day. I've seen that. You know, Luke um, did what he does best. He made some shots. He gives you a guy out there, got some cerebralness about him. And, again, we made some mistakes defensively. We had some mix-ups. Uh, we had some, uh, you know, um, shots that we gave them that was our fault, but they made them. They still made those shots. We'll get better at those kind of things. But both of those two guys are going to be big for us all year long. And I don't look at them. You talk about bench. I mean, like I said, you know, those guys are – as valuable as anybody runs out there in those first five. I never, I never put a lot of emphasis on that. Those two guys will play starter minutes most of year for us. Uh, Davion, Jared McDonald with the Daily News. 
Um, you know, how did you feel coming into this first game right before it started? And, and how are you feeling now after a productive day sitting here with a win? Jared, who is that question for? For, for Davion. Davion. I wonder how you felt coming into this game and how you feel now. Uh, Change your question. You got to I felt ball. great coming <laughs> to the game. Um, all the veterans, they took me in. So I felt great coming in. How I feel now? Uh, we got a good team. That's how I feel. Uh, Tavion, this is Jared McDonald with the Daily News. Um, you know, watching a guy like Davion, I know you mentioned taking him under your wing and seeing him throughout uh, his high school a little bit or knowing about him in high school and now watching him and playing with him. What did you think of his debut? You know, point guard and come out there and, you know, facilitate things. Um, you know, the game's all in his hands. And, you know, he handled it pretty well. And, um, you know, we all trusted him and we – we believe in him, and he he did what he did. Uh, last question for coach or the student athletes. Uh, coach Memphis next. Um, what do you know about those guys? Well, it's very obvious they're one of the better basketball teams in the country. Um, be a totally different kind of team. Um, talent wise, there's talent talent as you know most teams in America. Uh, so quick, athletic. Going to be great off the bounce. Um, won't, will not shoot as well as this team, which no teams will probably. Uh, yeah, I'll be very shocked if another team can make 23s against us. But uh, they're a very, very talented team, well coached. And, and we got them for an um, early morning special. I think it's 11 o'clock game. So that will be interesting too. All right. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, everybody. Coach, Thanks. players, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Um, for everyone joining us on Zoom, the box, the complete box scores from this game will be posted shortly on SanfordPentagon.com under the game day download story. Also, if you're looking for this press conference, it will be archived on the Sanford Pentagon YouTube channel. We'll have Coach Ben Jacobson in here shortly. All right, everybody, we've got head coach Ben Jacobson. Joining him is Taiwan Pickford and uh, A.J. Green. Start with questions via Zoom. Uh, coach Jacobson, uh, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, yeah, just so uh, your, your team makes a, a program record 23 pointers there today, but uh, just not enough to, 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 to come out with a win. Uh, how frustrating was it just to, to see what Western Kentucky was able to do uh, there in transition and, and, and with their ability uh, to, to, to score off the turnovers? Yeah, they, they got us in some key areas. Uh, but I, man, I, first, Nick, I got to start by telling you I'm proud of the guys. You know, we, uh, you know, we knew as the game was going that we had made some mistakes. You know, we made some passing mistakes in the first half. Um, we had some defensive mistakes. We didn't block out a couple times. There were some things that happened, and you know, we got a we got a great group. You know, and they and they knew we were making some mistakes. I'm I'm really proud of them for digging in and getting that game uh, tied in the middle of that second half. So, um, I re you know, there's a lot of things that that we liked that happened today. Uh, 
and then there's a lot of things we got to get cleaned up, and that goes with with early in the year and the transition defense. You know, a couple of things defensively. Um, again, some of the blockouts, um, some of the ball handling, things that you know are going to happen early in the year. So we'll we'll get them cleaned up, and get ready to go tomorrow. Uh, what in particular do you have concerns you on the defensive end, uh, and and was it part of it just a matter of what West, Western Kentucky is able to do with their veteran players? Yeah, that's uh, that's an important part of it. We we played against a team that's good, um, yeah, a team that's picked to win their league, uh, a team that's got a bunch of seniors, and they've got very good players. Uh, and then they run their stuff. You know, they they got out on some turnovers and they got some easy points. Um, we gave them, you know, there's some possessions that we gave them some points. And then they, you know, there's a lot of possessions where they made good plays or they ran good offense and they, they had good possessions and they, you know, they scored against us or we fouled them and put them on the free throw line. And, you know, so we were, we were playing against a good team, well coached and, and very good players. Um, so when you do make, you know, when you do make some mistakes, uh, it, it's really hard when you're playing against a team as good as, as Western Kentucky. Uh, you know, I think they, you know, I think they got a good team. They're going to have a very good year. I know uh, Trey hit eight three-pointers in a game for you guys last season. Noah fills in for him and knocks down nine. Uh, Bowen uh, looked really good in his first start shooting it as well. Uh, uh, just uh, first game out, uh, how do you feel this offense, uh, you know, looked just, just as far as the variety of, of options you have to, to knock down shots? Yeah, I mean, that's you know, that's something that, that we feel, you know, have felt good about in our workouts. You know, we feel great about going forward. You know, our skill level, our, our passing, our understanding at the offensive end, um, whether it's our guys that are making threes or our guys that um, that aren't making threes. You know, we, our group has got a, um, it's got a very good understanding uh, that uh, when when we have good possessions and we're able to get that thing turning side to side, and we didn't feel like as the game was going, Nick, that, that we had the kind of pace that that we would like to have, and uh, some of that credit goes to Western Kentucky uh, for the way that they played and they denied some passes. And then uh, some of it is, you know, some things we just got to shore up in terms of our ball handling so we can really get that ball moving side to side. Uh, but we got, man, I got a ton of confidence in, in our roster and a ton of confidence in our guys. The guys that make threes for us, that's their job and they do it well. The guys that don't make threes for us, they know their job and, they're, and they do that job really well. So uh, we, we love our roster. Um, we just made too many mistakes. Any questions for the student athletes? Oh uh, yeah, AJ, AJ uh, I was wondering uh, if you could talk a little bit about just kind of what it's going to take to to be able to end more possessions with shots uh, on the offensive end, and, and and what you saw out of this offense with, with uh, some new players in in the mix here uh, on opening day. Nick, could you repeat the question, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, for AJ, I was wondering, you know, with new players in the mix on opening day, what would you kind of see out of the offense? And, and what do you feel as the season progresses it's going to take to, to end more possessions with a shot on the offensive end? Yeah, I mean, having quite a few new guys, it's their, their first college game. There's obviously a lot of, I don't want to say nerves, but just anxiety and excitement to play. And, you know, that can maybe um, cause a few of those mistakes, and that happens. But I know... Um, they're all the type of guys that will get right back to it and learn and work. And uh, I'm very confident in, in them going forward this season and what they'll provide um, on offense uh, that, like you said, will, will lead to open looks. What was kind of your, your main takeaway from, from this game as a whole, just uh, uh, re replaying that in your mind and, and what kind of stood out front of mind for you? I think we uh, – obviously, we sent them to the line a lot. I feel like they're they're – shooting free throws in the bonus with like 11 minutes left in the second half or something. Um, I think that kind of hurt us, put them to the line. And then just down the stretch, I think there's a few possessions. I know personally I'd like to get back um, in different choices, but we just got to learn from it. Um, we play tomorrow, so uh, move on to the next game and we'll be ready to go. Final question for the student athletes, sir, Coach Jacobson. Nick, anything for Taiwan? Uh, sure. Uh, Taiwan, uh, just on, just when you look at kind of the defensive end of the court, uh, you know, what, what are some of the areas that you feel like this team needs to really kind of improve uh, going into the, the next two games here in South Dakota? Uh, really just, you know, our attention to detail. We got a lot to learn from this game. 
as coach said, we gave up uh, a handful of, you know, easy points that we can easily just look at and uh, take away and correct those. So we'll get to looking at some film and I know our guys are quick learners, so we'll get right to it and uh, correct those moving forward. It's uh, early on in the season. So those things kind of type type of things happen early on and we look to correct those, you know, as soon as we can. So we can move forward and have a great year. Yep. Right, thank thanks, you, Coach. Coach. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Nick. Just a reminder, the full box score will be posted on SanfordPentagon.com underneath the game day or in the game day download story.